Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to the damn yeah. show, everybody. Yeah. What's crack a lacking, man? Hey. All right, so this is like our third time doing this. Yes, so it is. The third welcome time. back is not going to be as jovial. What's up? Uh, what's what's up? up? This the lounge. Welcome Period, back. Period, boo. 72.45972. Uh, uh, W-N-U-A. 95.5. I, I hate when they do that. <laughs> I hate when y'all do that. Man. Hey man, Hope did that, so hopefully you wouldn't have to. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I was raising a project. No roaches, no rats. Hey, look, I would like to welcome y'all to the show. Uh, John Jay over here, cop out kings over here. Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, yeah, man. Man, cop look. Out. They done became butt buddies over the past two episodes. Hey, I've just yeah. been informed that that is an offensive term. <laughs> Don't <laughs> fucking use. It. Wait, wait. What do we mean? I didn't know it was offensive. Hey. What is it? I didn't either until yeah. my coworkers told me. What oh, is yeah. it? Um, it's just I don't know. <laughs> but buddy, right? I, I thought it was like uh, us. So buddies in the butt. Right, oh. right, 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 right. Okay, well, y'all are uh, front know. buddies. We can't be front buddies. Yeah, I'm going to call y'all uh, the Cop Out Kings. Thank yeah. you. Yes, Thank I'll you. stick with the Cop Out Kings. Cop and please on a weekly basis right hey. here <coughs> at Q4 Radio. Yes. Uh, <laughs> special guest in the building. Yo. Uh, your friend, my friend, everybody's homie. Uh, the emo guy available right now on that piff. Uh, we'll let him get into that a little bit more. Straight off the Ave, straight out the West Side. Yo, my nigga Emo. Yo, what's the word, man? It's Emo Eight Hundred. Definitely down to get down. You know, you know how it is. Skateboard kid, Mister Let Get a Man, Young Whipper Snapper. You know how it is. Young Whipper Snapper. We yeah. do know how it is. <laughs> All of y'all are significantly off the ab more than me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm from K-Town. Wow. K-Town bound, one tray. Wow. All day. <laughs> All right. So, uh... I've never heard you represent your block. He just repped his set, but it. Yeah, he just low spit key, it, man. Feel me? I'm yeah. a K-Town yeah. bound. You got to put right. respect on the, the hey, niggas on hey, The n- niggas n- on my block call themselves the CC boys. So okay. I'm going to call that on y'all. Drop it on. <laughs> Shout, Shout out, out to, to the, the CC, CC boys. Shout out yeah. to all these young whippersnappers <laughs> running around now. Yeah. What? Yeah. You know. Yeah, hey, man. So we already talked about our weeks. So I really don't want to ask We again. didn't really get into them. Okay, right. so are we going to go around again? I didn't wrap mine, so yes. Yeah. All right, so let's start with you yeah, so it'll be fresh by the time well, we get back. It's Lenny. His, it's his time to be here, right? Don't you nah, always go with the we... guests first? Yeah. yeah. See, Don't this... you always say that? Don't you say? It's not our fault. It's Tone's fault. Uh, he stopped recording. It is. Us up. It is. Oh, it's so it is. Yeah. Right. So he created the problem. He created the problem. The <laughs> <laughs> nah. That's what you're supposed but to yes, do. But yes, you right? are correct. Okay. Uh, so right. emo. Just for isolate me. All right, cool. <laughs> How was your week? Let <laughs> them know what you got going on, my nah, brother. It was smooth, fam. I just dropped my on uh, tape, the emo guy. Just dropped it on SoundCloud. Absolutely. You can look up, look up emo 800, you feel me? Go to the album section. You definitely see it. You can go on that pill, search up emo 800. Search up, you feel me? The emo guy, you definitely look up, see it. That's a nice picture out there. Has some nice art. I definitely work with a, ni- a nice amount of people on this, you feel me? I had a lot of collaboration with it. Even though it's like a solo on, we have like Hancho Hendrix on it for that one feature. I definitely dealt with a lot shout of people for it. Yeah, definitely yeah. shout out to Hancho and the Hancho gang, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Shit. Um, yeah, my week was cool, you know what I'm saying? Just had a lot of conversations with crackheads and. Wow. Worked overnight. Time out. Was they like, like <laughs> potential good like conversations? You know, like yeah. You know, like I'm always interested on. They teach you how to change out a carburetor. No, no, no. I always ask them like, what, what happened the first time you smoked crack? Like, what okay. made you smoke crack? Oh, this this is my type of shit to talk question. about. Yeah. What made Wait, you, you smoke crack? crack? No, but I want to. <laughs> I want to know what he's talking about okay. because, like, coming from a person who kind of um. Like double, you know, retail services based off of this, you know. Open air retail. I want to know, like, why did you come to me personally? As a, you so, know. were you a, were you a supervisor, a manager, uh, a branch Man. manager? You know, you kind of you know, sales so smart. Right. Right. You work your way up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a part of the industry, man. You break your way up, bottom. man. You know how this world works. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So yeah, so I had one guy right. He was like, he was telling me how his mom was basically in the drunk in the crib, drunk, and she um she was trying to kill herself. So yeah. we go to the neighbor house, tell the neighbor to call his auntie, 
they would call the police. You know what I'm saying? The whole time he talking to the police, thinking it's his auntie, like, hey, get over here. She trying to kill herself. Ooh, ooh. DCFS come, take him away. And then he like get passed around through all these DCFS places. One day he get a job at a factory and then he um a motherfucker was doing heroin on the job. And he had a line of cocaine, like, hey, you can't do this. But if you want some of this, you right. can have some of this. Mm. You know, why would you like, why do that though? Like <laughs> what's it like don't do the downer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. uh, yeah, he just just went on from there to, you know, living out west. Hey, crackheads are people too. Live in ah, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's crazy because, like, you see, like, I talk to the hookers a lot, and a lot of these hookers got kids. A lot of them are second generation hookers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who, like, watch their mother do this shit growing up, and then they, you know what I'm saying? following their mother's footsteps after their mother gets clean. I mean, but their mama really can't tell them nothing because their mama was doing the same thing at the same age. Hoeing is a legitimate profession, though. Yeah. Yeah, now, it depends. If you hoeing... If you money, a true bona fide hoe. Right. Yeah. If you, but yeah. if you out, but like, a crack for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, like right, strung out. A strung out. Right. Right. stamp yeah. of official hoe. Yeah, like you. I'm get, not a crack whore. Yeah, right. like, yeah. I'm a businesswoman. Yeah, right. I'm a, I'm a proprietor man. of the and pussy. A, there's a my very big man. price difference. Yeah, you know yeah. Yes. Like, like them uh, hoes on Cicero. Like a this hoe is, is gonna be like. You know, tell us about. Mm. <laughs> so the hoes, look, 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 look. So the hoes on Cicero, right? <laughs> now we've all seen American pimp or pimps up hoes down before, right? I seen yeah. pimps up. All right. Down. So you never seen pimps up hoes down or American pimp? Oh, I, I seen the hoes on Cicero. Of course not. Right? <laughs> so look, look, when you watch pimps up hoes down, yeah. you see it like nice looking young girls, you know, perky, yeah. perky boobs, yeah, like all of that. What right? they got? What they got? Perky boobs. <laughs> <laughs> but you take a drive yeah. on down to Cicero right off the Eisenhower. The Eisenhower. You're going to see uh, mom jeans and dirty sketches <laughs> and, and coffee stained tifus. Man. It's like the Eisenhower. worst version Anything of horror. Anything name, Eisenhower. The yeah. worst version of horror that you will ever see. And it's like, I, I, would, I would believe those are the crack horrors. Mm-hmm. Not the certified bona fide hoes. No, no, no. It's hoes over there by the Eisenhower. They be having all like the fishnets and the skirts and the puffy jackets. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the hoe. It's different hoes though. But, like that's uh, yeah. that's popping steel in Chicago. Like the whole Don Juan hoe type hoe. Yeah, like, yeah. How old they be? <laughs> oh, bro. No, they be young. Like no, like, I, I ran know. into a pimp a few years when I was working at the um when I was working in West Chicago. I used to make it back out west at like right. 4.35. See, I see where this is going. I right. see how y'all looking at me. Right. No, that's not what this is. That's not what this is. I just want to be sure. I used to stop at this gas station and grab blunts. The mm-hmm. uh, It's a BP or whatever. Right off of 290 and Cicero. Oh, so, so I used you stopped in that gas station yeah, cause to I talk was, to a pimp. Because I was the dope man <laughs> at the time. I was and, the dope man to know the pimp. And I would get my <laughs> swishes out of there. And the pimp would always be in there drinking a hot chocolate, and he used to always see me That's buying the blunts. That's some pimp ass shit. Man, <laughs> man look, 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 it's the dead of winter. It's the dead of winter. He in hey. the gas station in all white, clean as a nickel. Uh, Cole Hans on drinking a hot chocolate. He used to always ask if uh, I had some more green on me, and I ain't never had it. But yeah, pimping is definitely not dead. Damn. Not at all. What? Yeah, I don't know. That's yeah. That's so that was your week. That was his week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit was deep. Sound like some dolomite shit. All right. Oh, um, rolling into my week, I kind we kind of like started this talk, but uh, me and my homie went to a fashion show. Shout out to Nina. Um, shout out to Mad Hatter Culture Cabrini Kids. Um, hey. went to this fashion show. It was out south. We was both a little sketched out because you know we'll you know we'll get jiggy with that shit. Mm-hmm. So. We go. It was lit. They had like food vendors, dessert vendors, clothing vendors, uh, jewelry, alcohol, all type shit. So y'all know me, TCB. TC. I'm like, uh, can I get the Hennessy strawberries? Can I get the Duce cupcakes? Like, yeah, oh yeah Duce cupcakes. Yeah, Duce cupcakes. 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 That shit sounds good. Yeah. Hey, I'm not gonna hold y'all. They was fire. I got business cards. Man. I'm gonna give y'all. Yeah, oh. So, um, bangers, right? 
me and my homie, we looking around, we talking to different people, trying to, you know, who's y'all manufacturer? Like, how do y'all get in this way? What's the uh, easiest way to do this than the third? Yeah. Just business talking, clock talking. We, um, at first the dude had told us, like, man, it's like such and such amount for a table. Right. Crazy ass number. We like, hmm, don't sound reasonable to us. Mm -hmm. This would be our first, like, pop up this will be our first show to you know come out and showcase our shit right. and that that's like a crazy number by the end of it he like yo i fuck with y'all vision um fuck with everything y'all got going on thanks for coming out holla at me we got a pop-up coming saturday y'all get a free table oh, yeah. uh both y'all get free tables so pull up on us so that was love because that's shit, sweet we, that's sweet sweet show him the beanie though show him the beanie <laughs> the beanie yeah. is definitely Swag on a hundred thousand. Just give them a quick glance into the camera. Yeah. What? Those are for sale, by the way. Uh, uh, uh. Westland and Cobain on Instagram. Twenty eight dollars. You dig? Holla at the kid. You yeah. do have to pay for your own shipping. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to let it be known. <laughs> All right. But um, yeah, man. So you know my you know my work week was hectic, which yeah. we won't get Already. into. But right. <sighs> I hate talking about what we do, man. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, the weekend, the weekend was solid. Uh, my son is going to another school, mm -hmm. and they gave us his school supply list. We were, like, pretty geek. I'm geek because I'm into that shit. Like, oh, his first school supply list. Yeah. And he got to wear uniforms and shit. He got a nap time. So my mom used to make us blankets for our nap times. So I went to oh, Joanne's okay. Fabric Crochet. yesterday. No. Nah. She would go get the fabric and like sew everything together. Oh, yeah. so um, quilts, blankets, all that shit. So I went to Joanne's yesterday and got my son some fabric. So I'm gonna get him like his regular everyday one. Then we gonna do one for the holidays and it's gonna be lit. Yeah. So my son gonna have a new blanket like every month. Dang. Most so def. My mama, during every pregnancy, my mama would make a, a crochet, a, mm -hmm. a Afghan yeah. blanket. You know what I'm saying? So in the whole nine months that she was pregnant, she was Just making work at it. These words disturb me. Crochet oh. and Afghan. And we with you, McCall. Yeah, I still got mine, man. Yeah, Mine's 35 man. years old. Yeah, that's man. crazy. And it's still there. <coughs> yeah, that's hard, man. That's beautiful. Hand woven. My son's first picture. His, fu his first year, <coughs> his birthday pictures he took, he's sitting on it. Yeah. 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 And, you know, that's beautiful because, you know, those are things like I'm shit that my mom gave to me that I want to give to my son that I'm yeah, actively uh -huh. doing every day. Man. That's, that's the shit that I be like, I, that's. That's the shit that brings me the most joy. Yeah. Is like being able to take him to a symphony concert. Yeah. Or uh, put him on a plane. Right. Or, you know, go to some art gallery or something. What the fuck, man? Yo, our trap houses is jumping yeah, like two, I, I three today. Like, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, like. We apologize, everybody. Yeah, my yeah, bad, y'all. Yeah, this wacky phone of mine. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, but John Jay, what's up with your week, man? Oh, How look, was your week, Mr. So Jay? My week, I got to know. Uh, I got to know. Uh, you got to know yourself better. I got to know myself. I, I've I've been face to face with poverty and and. Uh, <laughs> shit, <this laughs> <is rough. laughs> okay. Poverty shit. is not a laughing matter. I've been hey. I've been I've been face. But is it not though? I've been face to face with poverty. I've been uh, uh, distraught. It's 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 been hard. I'm feeling the pain from the fallout from the teacher strike. Uh, oh, no. no retribution has come my way by way of my union or any loans. I need no. money. No, but we was cool shit. though, man. Um, shouts out to two of my favorite short people. Uh, my niece had her birthday party yesterday, so I was a unicorn yesterday afternoon. Uh, hey. yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It felt good being a unicorn. Why you ain't dress up today, man? Because I'm a grown man. <laughs> right. I don't play dress up. But you was a unicorn. No, 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 no. I didn't dress as a unicorn. I was a unicorn. Exactly. Oh, okay. yeah. You was. I exactly. was the uniform. Right. No license was in my pocket. <laughs> right. The only way you can identify me is by my unicorn horn. <laughs> so you had it on. Yeah, I'm not wearing it here. Though. I'm not you. <laughs> Nobody will you. clown That's me bogey. on camera. Right. Uh, hey. but, but yeah, shouts out to my niece. She just turned 10. I bought her a ring light for her YouTube channel. She oh. also has a video mic, so she's following in yeah. Uncle Jay's footsteps. I love you, baby. We need um, a freaking vibes. ring light. Also, the hey, boys' birthday. We need a ring light. 
<laughs> the boy's birthday is today. Happy birthday oh, to yeah, the boy. Yeah, happy yeah. birthday to the boy. Definitely happy birthday. Yeah. Uh, um, I actually got him a gang of stuff. Uh, he's happy about that. He's is at he home. Already, oh, he already opened it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He at home and doing a research paper right day. now. So I'm, I'm, I like his discipline. He ain't trying to run around and play with his stuff. Yeah. He's handling his business first. Yeah. Man. But um, yeah. I just been enjoying the youth, man. You know, I'm really falling into this. The youth zona. is the truth. Yeah. yeah. Letting mm-hmm. the youth them do what they do, baby. You know. They youth yeah. them. Why, Guan, baby? Yeah. See, my accent getting better, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but yeah. you chased it. You know, it's cool, though. The week, the week was kind of regular, degular, but the shit that I regular, degular, schmegular. Yeah, the shit that I did do, it was cool. But I definitely am broke as fuck. And <laughs> I need to. Y'all subscribe to my OnlyFans. It's only nine dollars a month. <laughs> <laughs> I am the world's first BBM. Blackberry Messenger. Uh, <laughs> Yo, speaking of <laughs> speaking of the youth them, the youth them baby. Let's talk about this nigga Drake. What going? Oh, speaking of bad Jamaican accents, uh, and the youth them. We well, unite. What, hold on, what Drake do? Why, the nigga uh, was at Flog. At Camp Flog. Oh, oh, Camp right. Flog. Oh, hold on, boy, they gotta but do the like. accent. Oh, the youth them. You never heard Drake's you Jamaican never, accent. Oh, they do got See, but that's not a Jamaican accent, accent though. That's it's like, a bad that's Jamaican that's, accent. No, no, that's the um. So <laughs> <laughs> you really defending? This tell, us, like, <laughs> tell us. <laughs> tell us what it is. All right, let us know the secret. There's a, there's a large Caribbean community in Canada, and also in we, Europe. We know this. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's not like it's it's not a bogus Jamaican accent. It is. It so is. It's like it's pretty a, bad. A bogus Canadian Jamaican accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Really it is crazy. More fire right. Right. Time. Put respect yeah. on my name. Canadian. That's sauce, That's sauce. But it's not. But yeah. No. So it's not like disrespect. Right. Right. As like a person from the west side of Chicago, so you not so really a, a large. Jamaican so you are community. effectively a cop out king. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. yeah. thank you for that. No, man. Thank yeah. you for these pleas. He just cop. <laughs> right. No, see, because mm-hmm. it's not, it's not, it's not our culture, but it is. It's not his. He's either. surrounded. I was just gonna say, like, like this nigga live next door from us more than we are. I was surrounded by Belizeans for a very long time, man. <laughs> I mean, that, like, it's, it's why not, I drink Guinness. <laughs> Why I drink Guinness. It's true. <laughs> Camp flog no. Camp flog no. Camp flog no. Yeah. So see the situation was really just like, I right, so the crowd was expecting Frank Ocean. Yeah, but right. everybody but expects why Frank. Because, because because it's, it's Tyler the creator. It's Tyler, you feel me? Yeah. Of course you gonna expect Frank Ocean to be but with now, Tyler. But now I was a secret they really guest. ain't fucked with each other in a long time, right? Like you ain't seen Frank Ocean and Tyler but that's, together uh, in a long time. Frank Ocean is one of his uh, artists, though. Like, yeah, he, ain't I, they like best friends? I know yeah, they're on yeah. Future. Yeah. But no, what you mean? But you ain't seen them in public but together you in a long time. But they're they're Tell the best of friends. They kind of they kind of haven't with even their really music. been seeing Tyler with Jasper at all. And you yeah. know him and Jasper was tied to the not even hit. Earl a lot, yeah, really. The, right? You the, don't see him with Earl and nothing. Who's the they big doing their own thing who's right the now. The big dude, I Jasper. can't remember his name. Nah, Jasper is the little short fat one. The fat one, yeah, the fat one. Yeah, yeah. that's Jasper. Yeah. That's Jasper. I just seen him. He had he got like a bed created. Like he went. To oh, that's an old like show. He's so fat. That's an old yeah, show. yeah. Uh, that's the Tyler's version of how stuff works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's old. That's like two years ago. Two years. I'm like my 600 pound life. Because <laughs> <What? laughs> no. you was like the fat one. He no. made a bed. No, no, no. Tyler <laughs> made a bed on some shit. He bought a four thousand dollar chair. And yeah. So you uh, know, I guess. Um. I guess so. I we guess, expected Frank. Like, that, imagine that though. Whole you you ain't no Frank Ocean. Did out the boo Drake just walk out. You feel me? Like, yeah. That would hurt like, you a little bit. I would be hurt. Oh, I guess me, I wouldn't me. boo him, right, but I'll I would be. Hurt. I'll let y'all finish. I guess the whole thing is, like he said in the tweet, was I I forgot who my fans are. Like my fans are not Drake why would, fans. Why right. would you go to Flog and always Drake? Like, <laughs> hey, no, don't do that. Yeah, you gotta be somebody else. Like Vince Staples, yeah, he probably could have did. Yeah, Vince Staples, somebody done like it. that. Yeah, like, you gotta be kind of obscure, right? To you know? get in with this crowd. Hobson, yeah, he could have did it. Yeah. Somebody like that, even you though they would have never been in that type of light. But and you they know, wouldn't have, they wouldn't have booed him. They probably would have listened to him. Right, it's just but that type of way. You know, commercial as Drake, they was like. No. no. Yeah. All right, so Mr. <laughs> Mr. J, 
I'm, I'm, look, all right, all right. Now I have to be the bad guy. All right, here we go. So Bring look, up. these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> the, on, the, the nerve, the blatant, on, the blatant, nerve. the blatant disrespect and disregard for great. That's like. Here and for, there. For dis- what? Disregard for greatness? Disregard for greatness. I mean, he did come out so with what? a great song, though. Look, this Frank Ocean, though. Oh, it started from Bruh. the bottom, right? Look, Drake has been. I, I, love, I love when people come out with songs that I haven't heard in a long time. Drake has been you know the saying? number one artist for how many weeks? Like 500 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, <laughs> like yeah. 500 this weeks. Said 500. Yeah. Like, the dude, he makes great songs. He has been in the limelight since he decided to walk he, into the limelight. And he puts on a great show, right? So, wow. He doesn't put on a great show. People say I his shows suck. Say, yeah. Yeah. Pretty boring. Well, I seen him running suck. and jumping. That's, that's, that's not That's because right. you excited don't make it a good show. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Like, <laughs> so, look, look. Like, the nigga washed his hands so, after so, using the bathroom. So, <laughs> let's, so let's do it like this. I'm just going to say, for the record, that under no circumstances, even if you expecting Frank Ocean, should you be booing Drake? Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. But that's like a if pop artist. If it was anybody else, like, would that be allowed? If it was Lizzo, be? if it was Lizzo, would they have booed her off stage? Of course they yeah, would have booed her off stage. They'd have booed it's Lizzo. Lizzo and Flaw. Tyler off. fans, come on now. Yeah, yeah, come on now. Get this bitch out of here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'm a huge Lizzo fan. Let me put that yeah. on the record. I, think right. I, got I don't know. Did yeah, y'all? Oh, speaking of Lizzo, right now. sidebar: Did y'all see her twerking with the lingerie on? I no, see you seen the Instagram picture? Yeah, the one. Yeah, you see that, huh? I didn't see the picture. I seen uh, her shaking you her ass see on, that the, picture, on the Instagram. I see that. If you, if you, if you like that, you, you probably want to. She got the whole there. butt out. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah, Lizzo, Lizzo got on, the skin. And then yeah. she put it on Homer's mouth to make his mouth look like her butt. Well, oh, that's because motherfuckers be in your comments talking man, shit. They be yeah. in your comments like, man, you got a Hummer mouth booty. Like, <laughs> uh, like they'll be in your funny. comments talking shit. So she that like, is. shit, fuck it. I sure do, motherfucker. Uh, but this uh, nigga, but Drake is, and what I took away from it is the nigga is class personified, man. You got a crowd full of people booing you when you shouldn't be getting booed. Mm. And you still took it like a champ. Thank y'all. My name is Drake. He took it like how Cause Drake the nigga got the money. Right. He yeah. took it like Drake would take it. You gotta keep in mind, yeah, Drake did come from a sad place paid. in life. Yeah, uh, but uh, I mean, so, nah, nah. so this it's, is it's, what I wonder. I wonder if Drake sent nudes when Tyler the Creator sent them the shut tweet. Shut up, cuz. Sent nudes. Yeah. <laughs> shut up. I man. Not exactly sure news. what he's saying shut right now. Up. And then Tyler requested nudes from. Drake. It was like it was like all right. I can either bring Frank Ocean out. Or if Drake sends me nudes, I'll bring Drake out. I'll hey Drake, <laughs> send nudes. Hell no. I'm not I I'm not with your line of logic right yeah, now. Why are you worried about another nigga nudes? Shit, that yeah. shit gay. Oh. Hey, yeah, it's Twitter. You know what I'm saying? And beyond that, gay happens. It's yeah, okay, gay man. is yeah, it's okay to be gay. It's twenty twenty. <laughs> like fuck. Don't twist the story on me, shit. I'm gay. <laughs> I know it's okay. That's okay right. Gay. Break this cop out king shit yeah. up right now. His ass trying uh, yeah. to twist it. Yeah. It's okay to be gay. Okay. <laughs> I know. I eat coochie they, on a regular basis. They've been holding gay hands and being best friends for the past two weeks. Get back. Let to me what fucking I love. tell y'all something. Thank that you. shit ain't true. <laughs> that shit ain't true. Yeah. This nigga she hate that me. Motherfucking <laughs> <laughs> and the week before that, he had on that fucking <laughs> Stuart Little suit. Trade love yeah. taps and shit. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but yeah, man, I, 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 that was, that was, but you know, people in crowds are usually classless and oafish. Look at <laughs> basketball games. Look at football real, games. So you just gonna lump everybody in crowds. What about the people who went to? I mean, you know, her mentalities are real things. What about people who that's go to true. art shows or people who go to that's fashion like, shows? It's, that's like somebody you feel me like yesterday that fashion somebody show. Somebody that listened to like Erica Badu <laughs> trying to go to like a symphony or some shit like hey, that. Hey man, I want to yeah. go to Witch McCauley. I want to go see Erica Badu and Nas. How do we do that? I didn't know they was coming. They come oh, yeah, to the United Center. Oh, yeah, they come in, like, yeah. maybe a week or so. Yeah, yeah. why they're thick as hell. But, you know, I was... So bro, she's so damn fun, God, like, bro. You be looking baby. at her? I Cakes. be looking at her. I ain't gonna lie to Come you. be gay yeah. over here. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was one of the first uh, people to subscribe to golf. You know, golf, yeah, surf, you golf was, radio and all of that. It was the first one that I ever seen with the so, socks and the stickers. So, and the, every time Flaw like around... 
every time Fall Guy come around, they send me invitations like to pre-order tickets and shit, and I would go. But I, I never had the money to pay for the ticket and the plane ticket. Yeah, right. Man. Like, man, that that's bogus because I want to go. Man, I got an actual <laughs> physical credit card now, man. Yeah. And it's like, uh, uh. how do I not jam? You know, like, <laughs> like, I want the first man. thing that I buy to be something great to flip. You know, like, the first thing got to be, like, some Travis Scott gym shoes or, or a fucking Supreme North Face or something that I could just swipe, throw it on eBay, flip it. And then I'd be like, all right, let's go to Cali, y'all. Man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, or like the first thing that I swipe on that card got to make me some money. I need a vacation, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like once vacation you said Cali, nice. I started thinking about different places and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we oh, got to so go to Cali, um, though, because you saw the bottle on the piano. Yeah. You know the bottle exists. We got to go there to get more. Oh, yeah, we definitely got to get more. So like it's a, that's, I got to get my credentials. man, to just, just the growth of this podcast, man. Like I said, we on Facebook now. I'm saying y'all go like the Facebook page, but we got a reason to go to what California. What is the address for the Facebook page? Oh, it's at DA Faculty Lounge. Okay. It's the same everywhere. No, I ain't used Facebook in like six years. Seven Man, years, how so can you know. not? It's so beautiful nowadays. Facebook is the funniest place Man. in the whole world to be. You know, I just got on social Comedians media. Comedians ain't even as funny as Facebook. I just this got back on crazy. social media two years ago, so all this crazy. shit is new to me again. Uh, you, know what's, you know what's weird, man, is that <clears throat> Facebook is like the Walmart of social media. Man. Everyone's like, invited. Yeah, like people are really going to show they ass. So Facebook is better than Twitter? Because like, no, no, Facebook no, no, no. is for the no. funnies, you feel me? Like right. Twitter is for like your your first thought that comes like to you your head. you can see hardcore porn right. on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's raw on cut. Because there's you know comments I mean? on it. Yeah. It's not like they're just showing you hardcore porn. It's, mm-hmm. What do you think about this hardcore porn? Yes. But then it's like Facebook. <laughs> Facebook worse because it'd be like a nigga standing right there recording it right there. Like, hey, look at this shit right here. Like, yeah. And the other the thing is like. Front. So most of the live that go on be Facebook live. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot of but okay. one thing for sure, like as far as comparing Facebook, Facebook and Twitter, it's like. With Twitter, I feel like people take shit way too serious. Yeah. That's because DJ you T print, on Twitter. You could tweet 50 tweets, DJ right? Motherfuckers going to take them tweets serious. Yeah, they are. DJ T is on Twitter. You get on Facebook, everybody know you just here to be funny. Right. Mm-hmm. You just here to share shit and be funny. You just here to get a laugh. Right. Yeah. yeah. Man, and it's so wild. Right it's wild. Like, your relationship, once it make it to Facebook, it's an official relationship. So what was the word on Stephen A. Smith on Facebook? Somebody enlighten me. I don't know about Facebook, but I know about everywhere else. Man, look, look. I, all right, so y'all know what happened. Kaepernick had his workout. Things didn't go according to the plan. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people had a lot of things to say about it, Stephen A being one of them. And uh, he basically said that the career chances for Cap in the NFL are over, and Cap played himself in so many words. Mm. Right. Um, so... So then what was I Terrell mean, Owens like point? That, so Terrell so Terrell Owens, the point of contention with Terrell Owens, Terrell Owens was saying that man, um what I was saying last week, like man, they calling him on Tuesday, telling him to come work out on Saturday, like they sending him a contract, like man, he gotta go over the contract. If it's things he wanna change, it ain't no time to do that. And then it's like, man, workouts take place on Tuesday. Now this is Hall of Famer Terrell Owens talking. Yeah, and he's saying like, man, how come he not getting a fair shake and the opportunity just like everybody else? Mm. And then he came and said, because you know Stephen A. do the show first take with Max Kellerman, mm-hmm. and Max was you know bringing up some great points about. I mean, he was talking about like the Kunta Kente T shirt, right. yeah, and I'm um, saying like, yeah, yeah, none of that. I mean, none of that but, really matters. But what Terrell, but to, what Terrell Owens said mm. was they got Stephen A. fired up. He was like, man. Max sounded blacker than you. Yeah, because he was talking about yeah, the Kendrick that's t-shirt. all I seen. Like so when I was watching when Steven videos, got I mad. just seen the man just spazzing yeah, on him. Yeah, he spazzed then, the fuck out. I thought he was gonna cuss. Spazzing. <laughs> yeah, Dude. I thought he was gonna cuss, but um, yeah, I I I felt Terrell Owens and Max Kellerman in regards of like, man, y'all. So what? This the end of the world because he wore a shirt. Right. No, see, they weren't even talking about the shirt. Mm-hmm. Like. So the reason I'm on Stephen A's side mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is because he did fuck it up. Like, you could have said, all right, I'm down for everything except for what I'm not down for and done it. Like, at least met him halfway. How? You know when they're giving you a contract that you don't agree with and you right. can't work out for them until you sign it. Right. right. Yeah. See, like, that. that's 
<clears throat> that's the crazy part. So it came out. What was in the waiver actually came out. Yeah, you were saying. So the waiver, it now this was a basically a liability waiver. Mm-hmm. So you take your kid to jump zone. Mm-hmm. You have to sign a waiver. If your kid fall and crack his head, you can't sue us. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Basic shit. Yeah. Right? You go to Great America, that's your waiver. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You go to a baseball game, your ticket is your waiver. Yeah. You get smacked in the face with a ball, that's on you. Yeah. That's what the waiver was supposed to be. But this waiver has clauses regarding uh, possible lawsuits and employment by the NFL in it. And it's like, why the hell would he sign that if it's a right. liability waiver? Right, but then they're saying, like, workouts, like, soon. So it's either you finna sign it right now or you not finna work out. Right, pretty right. much. They're giving you this contract on Tuesday. You got to work out Saturday. Right. So you better sign this before Saturday. So it's like slave contract or, like, but you don't really, like, you can't. You don't got time to really process it, so it's like, yeah, yeah it's a You're setup. It's, it's, it's wall, a bad ultimatum. Yeah, yeah, it's a bad ultimatum. Yeah. Much. And then it take a Hall of Famer to say, like, all right, this probably not a good idea, but then it's like the one dude who took it to, like, I'm, I'm in the streets now. Yeah. I would have never yeah. thought Stephen A would have kept saying that. That's all I kept hearing, like, I'm from the streets, too. At, yeah, like, I'm in so the streets, too. And I'm, I'm like, too. are yeah. you really in the streets, bro? Like, <laughs> like, yeah. Against Terrell Owens, though, like, right? Like, that, T.O. Like, is really out here. He really yeah. in the streets, yeah. like you feel me? Like uh, yeah. he in the streets, value dude. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? like he in games in the streets. Like, come on now. Yeah, but I just think that um, you know, I I just don't want people to lose sight of the fact that you know, even though they saying that Kaepernick went about things in the wrong way, let's not forget the origin of this whole thing. Right. He didn't do anything wrong to be in this position now. Right. Yeah. Right. You but know what I'm saying? And now, that, and now that this workout debacle has come, so, we're going to see a lawsuit coming again from Colin Kaepernick. So what I don't right. understand is he already got a check for a settlement right. on collusion. Mm-hmm. And then they signed a waiver like, hey, you can't sue us for collusion. But right. he already sued and won for collusion. So isn't that like double jeopardy? No, they're saying future lawsuits. Right. So why would he want to keep suing them if they're paying them? Like, I, what, you think that, I mean, that's not for me to would know. It, but would right. it be like, a, oh, they brought him off for of three games, he fell, and it looked like he was kneeling, so they fired him, and like, now he's suing again? Like any kind of situation again? where he could sue again, they're saying, sign this injury waiver, and also you can't sue us if we give you a job. You can't yeah. see us no more. Oh, oh so he tried to slide that in. I think yeah, that yeah. 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 he was stupid. Yeah, hey, yeah. like he's some kind of goofy or something. I'm mm-hmm. like, it's uh, like, all right, you can't fault the man for you know trying to get things as even as possible. Uh, he don't trust the NFL. Uh, all right, so reason. like, question: yeah. This Stephen A. stuff was it really about that itself, or was it really about the fact that they said he wasn't from the streets? Yeah, I think it was just the you know, black and the new comment. Him, they've been like, calling him a coon for years, man. And he he's finally been a coon for years. just yeah. like I, he I, finally I, just got enough of it. He came and wasn't the heavies. I ain't gonna say that about <laughs> Stephen A. And I ain't gonna call this nigga. I'm not gonna call Stephen A. a coon now. I'm not gonna do that to him. I disagree with him wholeheartedly, yeah. but I ain't gonna call the man a coon because, you know, just because he has an opinion that is so far off from the base. Which is the opinion of most black people. Right. I'm not gonna call him a coon. I consider that like blue neck. I I call that blue neck. Like I don't know. Blue neck. Yeah. Like you know, it's like a red neck, then it's like a blue neck. Uh, A blue neck would be considered like um stand from American Dad. Okay. You feel me? That'd be like a blue neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like loyal to the loyal to the uh to the job or whatever. Right. Company nigga. I really fucking hate how black people are now so. Freely calling mm-hmm. other black people coons like it's a byproduct of being woke. It yeah, that woke shit was like sure. all right, bro. Like, Speaking of woke, y'all seen that uh, undercover brother too, and they were talking about how woke was a drug, and if you drink it, you just start loving everything. But afterwards, you become like they petty. Did a, they did a part two for undercover brother. Man, guess I didn't who? Know. Guess who they put? It's dude. Who um, the undercover brother? Man, it's not Eddie Griffin. It's it's um. Uh, it's, I think it's the principal off the Goldbergs, right? Nah, it's dude who um, the, um, dude off that Tyler Perry shit. Dude who be doing all the um fighting movies. Michael J. Michael White. Michael J. White. Yeah. Hell no. Uh, the whole time it's not centered around him though. It's centered uh, around the brother, like undercover brother's brother. So uh, he the one who <laughs> doing everything. Right. <laughs> well, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating because it's like 
We got Stephen A. who don't give the same opinion. Jay Z when he signed the contract mm-hmm. with the NFL. Anybody and everybody who kind of disagrees with the like masses and shit. Like right. you just out like, oh, now we see you as a co-. it's like for what, my so nigga. I think that goes back to what I was saying about them booing Drake and Flognaw. It's like, man, you dealing with a herd mentality. Like you have smart people, mm. but in that herd, you become part of the herd. Yeah. Right. So you get this this black people are not a monolith. But right. for some reason, they look for every black person to speak for them. Like, man, just because I'm black, that don't make you my brother. Right. right. Like, man, we All got... All your skin folk right. ain't your kin folk. And right. if we are the same color, that don't mean I have to agree with you or you have to agree with me. But right. Or everything is uh only only black only. And if you don't agree with this agenda, then you woo woo woo. Right. But, you know. But yeah. it's super frustrating. Super frustrating. And it makes you not want to tell people your difference of opinion. Yeah. You don't want to yep. speak out but about your really, reason. They really be focused on a lot of bias. Like really? I don't really talk I don't like talking to people who got like set biases. Yeah. Like it's hard not to have a set bias, but I feel like I was always taught to think from like multiple perspectives, especially the mm-hmm. the direct opposite, you feel me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, Absolutely. But uh yeah, man, I think uh we're gonna see this thing. It's not over yet. It's, it's not, not over yet. It's not. I, I want to see what Cap and his team is going to do next and how to end. So I'm pretty so, much, I, I I ain't been, I've been on my fuck the NFL shit for a couple years. Right. And this is just me staying on it. So hey, yeah. I played Madden the other day. I'm kind of fucking with him. <laughs> 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 Bro. Look, I, I, I don't I, know, man. It's because like, I really don't have time to watch the NFL. Yeah. Uh, like, so yeah. I'm not going to watch it anyway. But, but I heard Lamar Jackson is amazing. That's what I've been hearing. And I just. Better than Michael Vick. I feel like, I feel like when it comes to this right here, yeah, this is the NFL getting all the NFL money people mm-hmm. to talk about the NFL. Right, like that's how they're staying relevant with the people who aren't watching the NFL. Yeah, like we, you just named one player, one active player, right? Lamar Jackson. Yeah. 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 Other than that, we're talking about what the NFL is doing. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about what's going on in the NFL. Yeah. And that's that's as important to them as somebody sitting at home right now with a Miller Lite and a Robbie Gold jersey on, drinking Miller Lights and eating cheese and meat. You know what I'm I feel, I I feel lie, that. I, I so feel lost. that. I feel that because it's, American. well, pretty much what he's saying is, like, our conversation about Kaepernick is just as valuable to the NFL as a corporation as us sitting at home yeah. watching the game. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, mm-hmm. you know, it is what it is. We got to talk about this shit because we are... The, the Faculty, Faculty Lounge, Lounge podcast. podcast featuring the Cap Out Kicks. <laughs> so, uh, what we got? <laughs> where, are we, where are we going next, man? Oh, man. I don't know, man. We can go to uh, what y'all talking about with Fizz and Omarion. So, <laughs> <Man>. somebody <laughs> let yeah, me we know. Do that. Oh, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? God, who's the pettiest? That's all I want to know. All right, like, first, between who is let's, get him, let's get them. Let's get them. Let's get our. Uh, somebody tell me. Let's somebody get them up to speed on what's in. exactly going on. So, all right. Up to speed. April and Omarion were together for. However long they're together. Fizz and Omarion were in B2K. They're like brothers. They're like best friends. Part of these relationships we see and play out on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Right. right, right. I also want to say, I'm, I'm none of us watched that. Yeah. Right. I am Let one put of that the out there. I never I watched this. I call it, wow. I call it, I call it Nigga Monday. And that's my guilty <laughs> pleasure. That's crazy. It's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> so, um, okay, okay, okay. basically, yeah. April and Omarion have broken up. Fit. Fizz and April are now together in a serious relationship, seriously dating. Um, they did the talking stage for a while, whatever, whatever. And this happened but on the show. Now they are really in a committed relationship with one another, uh, like loving on <laughs> each other type shit. And uh, everybody's kind of upset. Um, Except right now, Marianne. right, Hold right on, now Marianne's on social media, he no. got an ice box where his heart used to be. So. Right. You heard the song. Right. Timberland produced it. All right, Come on now. It's so, so cold. a lot of right. <laughs> so a lot of people are like, Omarion should be mad. Omarion's like, bro, like this the mother of my kids. Like I don't care. Like she's happy, I'm happy. Right. Me and so, Fizz, like that's one thing. But me and her, like that's different. And if she's in a healthy space, I'm in a healthy space. So this is like, I'm just gonna say it. This is like. Rihanna having a a little uh, promotion for her little makeup, playing a Chris Brown song in the background. Mm-mm. This literally what? happened. What? This happened nah. like this happened like three weeks. We ago. know, no, but what they a, got to do with it? Like, how is that? Like the whole world, the whole world is like, 
I can't believe she's playing that song. She shouldn't be playing that song at all. Fuck that guy. He did her so wrong. Nah, this and one. Everybody else is like nah. super this one, pissed off, and she's just like, I'm not nah. mad though. Like, this is like why no like right morally principle type thing. Uh, you don't have the right to be mad if I'm not mad. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah, nah. nah. That's not what I, know. Nah, I feel not like this is like. simply like if John and Butters break up. Mm-hmm. And you turn around and go be with Butters, like we crushing it, like we sitting here questioning your loyalty, like does this nigga ever really John friend, like, cause you right. now have all these questions, like, right? Even if was, I'm not, even if I'm not upset, was anonymous talking to Butters, like on the yeah, lowest man. key, when Butters and John was having issues, was she coming to anonymous about it? Was anonymous advising Butters to break up right. with this motherfucker? Like, kill y'all, so like, <laughs> that's so how like, those are the questions. Though, so that, based off plays, that, I guess you feel me? Who is the pettiest? Yeah, I feel I, like it come down to the hum. Look, this is just me. You want your homie to be loyal to you, yo. Look, the girl is the girl is loyal to herself. Right. The girl loyal to herself. She gonna get her nut regardless. She gonna get her feelings fulfilled regardless. It's up to your mm-hmm. homie to be like, yeah, I saw you pregnant with my friend's child. Right. This is my god brother. This is my yeah. best friend. Like right. I can't be uncle daddy. <laughs> Like, that's mm-hmm. on your homie to say something. That's not on her. She living life. But now, what I'm going to get if, in where I fit in if right? I'm her. Yeah, sure. What if we don't know that Amarion and Fizz had a, a fifth of Duce and a long talk about this before it started happening on Love & Hip Hop? Before it got to where it's at See, now. See, it kind of remind me of uh, you know Steph and I used to, what Aisha Curry said. Like, everybody reacted to what Aisha Curry said about... uh. Want attention from outside men, yeah. yeah. But nobody stopped to think about if they talked about this before she went on Red Table Talks and right. said, "Yeah, yeah." Like, what if they actually had the conversation and it was like, a bruh, you, I, I know how you feel about her. I've been seeing you look at her for the last ten years. Like, I'm done. Like, we got, we have children together, but yeah. it is, I'm, we're not doing that anymore. You know what I'm saying? And I see how you feel about her. You know what I'm saying? Man, and, and if you watch Love and Hip Hop, you know, like that's. It's, it's really real. done. It's, it's actually, really, really done. Yeah. Like, right. as far as Omarion so, is concerned. So, I don't, yeah, see, yeah. I didn't know any of that. Right, but we don't, right we hey, don't what, know those facts 100%. Yeah. We don't know yeah. if him and Omarion you know? have sat down and had that conversation. All we know is what we see. But what so I will who say do you is, think is petty? Who do you think it falls on? So, look, when we talk about petty, this is where, this is where it gets to the pettiest of petty, right? All right, me, these niggas is in a, a fucking boy band. Right. One of the biggest, one of the biggest boy bands for black people since New Edition. Right, right, right. Grown women all over the world want to fuck on them. Right? right. Now look, we are grown men. Now we still have millions of women that will give up that pussy. Right. Some might even pay. Some might even pay to fuck you. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, out of all of these millions of women that you have at your choosing. Mm. You choose my baby mama. Uh, <laughs> right. Right. And my baby mama. Bruh, you extra petty. It's 16 bitches out here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just for you. Bruh. Man, where your, where, your, where your baby mama at? <laughs> like you literally was is a big aspect or a big part of my life because we grew up together. together. And you tell me you did X me out like that for somebody that I just, you feel me? You yeah, obviously knew I cared out, about. Like, did he X him out, though? We it's, don't it's know. All we know is what we know. It's, it's not even the. It's not even the fact that you feel me. What happened happened. It's what happened happened, and then like the feedback that came with it, like the bashing that came with it. Yeah. Like it wasn't just like it's like oh. he he just took it and it was like respectful. We took it and ran with it. So I was thinking people, about. I was, yeah. So I was thinking about what you said last week how, about how we just didn't get no fuck about nothing back in the day. Yeah. Right? We used to just we did go not. hard, right? Yes, sir. So I was thinking hard. about <laughs> no, 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 we didn't go, hey. we didn't go that hard. That was, hard no, no we that. wasn't out there doing that stuff. Yeah, but we, we, my we dog didn't. That hard. We, <laughs> we honestly <laughs> didn't give a fuck about nothing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, the one thing that that my biggest pet peeve, the thing that really grinds my gears is when I'm in a heated debate with somebody, yeah. and the first thing that comes out their mouth is, well, other people 
know what I'm saying? Well, or, what about woo woo? Well, what about what they see? Yeah. What about what they care yeah. about? Yeah, I don't like that shit neither. Right. It's be like, no, this is you. This is your <laughs> right. life. Right, like yeah. we ain't talking about them. We talking about right. you right now. It's only point you. of view of what you're going through. Right. Because like, you're the only one that's actually going through it. Okay. You know? So I would, like, in that regard, I would say, man, uh, even if Amarion is straight, Amarion, I could tell because he went on Vlad and finally talked about man, it. Did y'all see and that picture of Vlad? Shouts out to Merck for posting that picture of Vlad. Yeah, Vlad looks crazy. I have never, I had never, you had seen, never Vlad. seen Vlad before. No, wow. What but that, like? that's what he sounds like. He sounds like he looks like that. Yeah. Um, uh. But anywho, uh, <laughs> I, know, I was, I was Kelly? saying that in the it, <laughs> in the picture of man, we got to get money together. It's a bad look. Right. Like, yeah. damn, yeah, that's, now, that's now let's say you brand. get into an altercation with my baby mama. Yeah. We got to go yeah. to work together. I got to fuck you up. Right. This is the mother we, of my child. And we got now. shows to do, which is our primary source of income. And it's not even like a mm. sexual thing. Like, this is like, I got to fuck you up because my child has to see his mother in this condition mm -hmm. now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I got to fuck not, you up off principle. It's not for mm. her. It's for him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So in that regard, it's a bad look. And I would say fears yeah. is petty because you putting yeah. this relationship over the back. And it's like, man, you could have went anywhere else or waited till the tour was nah. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have waited until the tour was over. Yeah. You could have definitely gone anywhere else. But love is real, man. Love is blind and it'll take over your man, mind. Man, it's a law. Get your that's baby. a law, though. <laughs> that's a law. You don't do that. Like, yeah, that's your much. homie, even if much. you care about her. Like, you can't do that. Yeah. Oh, bro. That's like, right. so, it hurts, so but, I heard like, you Wayne. just can't. I, heard, I don't know. I was watching some random Lil Wayne clip on Instagram. This and, nigga and it was like, man, if yo if your guy hit, is she automatically off limits? And he was like, off limits as far as what? And he was like, you, would you still hit? And he was like, yeah, I hit, but it's off limits as far as anything else past that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And shit, because I'm going to hit, my girl going to hit, hit right. and we all going to hit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's, um, I guess, I guess what makes it petty is going past just hitting you know yeah. what saying? like now you're in a committed relationship y'all spending time together and shit yeah. but it, it i mean and yeah it all talking. comes around now my, the can, realm my son of, confused when you around and i ain't around i yeah. mean but it's all the realm of like how deep the relationship was like if this bitch was just a fuck then everybody right. could just fuck her exactly mm -hmm. you was in a relationship like we gotta you, cut it off at one yeah. point yeah you yeah. can't you can't hear Fizz couldn't just, oh, right, right kids her, Fizz couldn't just <laughs> fuck his long 10 year long relationship nah. baby mama that shit like you nah, just that's dead, well i've heard stories of group of friends that yeah. uh you know have that sort of thing like man like the, like the asap mob yeah they like, they're very vocal except for barry about orgies and just getting nut on other people's clothes and shit and slipping laughing on, it off slipping on semen yeah you know what i'm saying that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's I think that uh, you know, Free Bobby Smurda, man. When that nigga come back, I swear to God, man, yeah. If if you bros, they bully, man. If you bros, let me let me ask you, Breezy, because mm. you you are a woman. Mm. Uh, how does this work? Because yes. we we talking about bros, right? So how did this work in the in the female community, like as far as hits go? With the with with you know whoever like y'all hit way more vicious and like there's no rules like I feel like, like y'all think too much for, but guess <laughs> what <laughs> me and my homegirls sit around bro in high school me and my homegirls we used to pass these hoes around I'm with her this week you can have her next week you can have her after I'm gonna put you on with her like see I guess, I shit. guess but relationships like, that's also niggas, though. that's not the question though. right the question but he said hits he wasn't talking about relationships yeah. he just yeah. said hits yeah so hits don't mean shit because my homegirls be like hey that's I just fuck this nigga Brian no Brian really exists so don't listen to this shit think we talking about <laughs> you I just fuck this nigga Brian <laughs> the dick Brian. was good homegirl you want it because I'm gonna put you on I'm gonna put you on, and that's how like we think the same way. See, we don't now, care about y'all, man. Right, but now relationships, I guess. That's relationships. Spending yeah. time with a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah don't do that shit. One, for, yeah. After you've been with a motherfucker for two months, you know what I'm saying y'all break it off, and it was like something real was might have been there. The law is then, don't fuck with nobody. Uh, 
Tiki. that I was pillow talking with that I got sentiments yeah, that's with. The main part that's the love. Yeah. It's the talk but at the thing. same yeah. time, yeah. Sex to a certain talk. extent, as we grow up, the law is if y'all ain't get married, it's up for free grab. So look, this is how I ride in that regard, right? This is the law in my eyes. Well, as it should be, right? right. Now, bam, mm-hmm. if y'all didn't had a serious relationship, like, I know it was serious because I was there. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to attempt to hit, yeah. right? But if that shit happened to come up, me and you got to have a conversation. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be on you to tell me how you really feel. Because oh, if you give me the green light, I'm sniping. Right. <laughs> right. But that's that's like, that's respect, though, because yeah. I came to you on some, like, yeah. playing yeah. shit. Like, right. hey, this girl was trying to throw it. She throwing. I don't want to catch, but if I do catch, is it like, Cool if I catch, you right. hear me? Yeah. If you say no, don't right. catch. Give me, oh. give me the green light. What if you, you want to catch? Good. Right. You just here to have a conversation so motherfucker don't see it on social media. <laughs> what if you like, hey, look, I'm going to be honest. Right. I like her. Right. She like me. Nah, I do want to speak to you about the shit. If you ask. Because it's going to come up. And then up. the nigga be like, no, nah, you be like, I'm just going to fuck her anyway. Right, <laughs> 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 right. 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 <laughs> Hey, so your man's ain't your man's and your friends ain't your friends. He like, That's he like, look, I just want to shit. talk to you before right. you see the shit on yeah, Snapchat, yeah. But social media. The only yeah. thing you can say off that is like the validation is at least I came to you as a man and talked to you about it. Mm-hmm. You yeah. can feel however you felt yeah. about it after that. Right, then right. that levels is like, that's the level of disrespect though. That's yeah. still disrespect, yeah. but I still came to you, you feel me? Yeah. I would, I would never yeah, want right. to put a wedge like that. If it's one of my guys, guys, like, if we didn't became millionaires together and shit, right. you yeah. know my mama and came and she didn't cook for us and that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I'm not, I ain't well, fucking with that. Hey, yeah, but we also, we sitting, up here, <laughs> we sitting up here giving uh, Omarion the benefit of the doubt, but uh, right. let's be real. <laughs> that nigga probably did some snake shit, too. This Omarion. Yeah. He this Omarion. He, he does have a This ice nigga probably did some snake shit, too. So, Finn's like, Finn's like, nigga, you, man, nigga, fuck you. Nigga, you did that shit. Did y'all hear the Timbo remix of, uh, uh, the warning where he did his own beat and put the biggie verse on there. No, no, mm, good. Yeah. <laughs> he said, good. <laughs> yeah, biggie should not be on Timbaland beats rapping the nah. warning. Only Missy and no. Justin, only Missy Man. and Justin. Justin. Yeah. Yeah. That's my nigga, though. Timbaland, though. <laughs> nah, Tim is yeah, definitely be, uh, the king. There wouldn't Timbo be the king. a 20, 20, 2000s or 2010s pop music without Timbaland and Pharrell. If y'all uh if y'all want y'all go and listen to Shock Value One and Two, that's Timbaland. He said it. it's his version of uh y'all remember the now that's what I call music. Now that's what I call yeah. music. Yeah, Timbaland made two of those. He made Shock Value One and Two. Very good. Wow. Very very good. Listen to it when you get a chance. Uh-huh. If you get a chance. If Speaking about chance. listening to music, mm. let's get into these <laughs> Grammy nominations. The noms. Nah. Yeah. So. Let's talk some shit. The only thing yeah. I know is YBN Corday got nominated. And he cried into the camera. Yeah. Yeah, he was crying, but he deserved that cry. He deserved that cry. No, 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 That yes, nigga was ugly as hell. Cry, <laughs> he worked hard, man. You deserve to cry, bro, but you literally doing this. He still no. You got to keep it mind. Uh, like, man. Uh, it's kind of weird. He it's worked hard weird. for it that, was, man. So hold weird. the camera up to your face and cry yeah, into it. Cry like man. This, like. It wasn't like he was crying because he was sad. Like, <laughs> he wasn't crying for attention. <laughs> like, you feel me? No, man. Sometimes, no, sometimes you got to document your success. Right. You got I'm to. not tripping about that. You got to document Whoa. your success. Hey, what's so funny? I say this because I was just watching Grey's Anatomy, right? This is not about documenting success. <laughs> this is about crying on camera. Izzy just was crying in the bed because Danny Duquette just fucking died. They really tried their hardest to save his fucking life. Izzy is a doctor. Danny is a patient. They're not even supposed oh, to be in this realm. I know this but anatomy. Izzy done fucking fell in love with Danny. Danny done fucking proposed to Izzy. He was supposed to get a new heart Danny, and they were Danny supposed to get Izzy. married. Point is, Danny dies. The she hospital has a the fine, hospital bro. has a fucking prom, right? So Denny is supposed to be well enough to go to the prom with Izzy. These motherfuckers, he dies. For this. <laughs> he dies. He dies. So they can't go to the hospital together. Damn, Izzy is no in her prom dress, laying on the bed with this nigga, cuddled up with this nigga, crying, hurt, dying, and all you hear in the background is if they lay here, Dina. 
if you just lay here. Sad as fuck, right? Anyway, I cried on camera. I cried on Snapchat because I was like, what? Wait, wait, did, you open, but, did you open Snapchat to cry? No, I was recording the the scene. Was crying and I was, was recording like, the scene, and then wow, I flipped wait, the camera wait. like so this shit crazy. So you actively flipped the camera to cry. Yeah. No, no, no. Wow. I was crying, she was crying and then I flipped the camera. Oh. Yeah, so it wasn't so like you oh. flipped it so they could see her cry. Because everybody knows this scene. Right. Shit's weird, B. It, it, it wasn't like one of them I see it and be like, oh, yeah, this should be sad. Hold on real quick. Let me get this cry. Hold right. on, let me get the cry. No, it's like everybody <laughs> everybody hey. knows the thing. I didn't, like, squeeze it out like. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, so but sad, everybody dude. knows the thing. Hey. Uh, I, just, I, I, might, yeah. I, might, um, I might have to cry on Facebook Live for y'all, man. Yo, that shit the funniest thing, bro. The cry challenge. The one, bro. No, <laughs> the 100 episode cry. <laughs> yeah. We gonna cry on camera together on the. Yeah, like, cry with ten seconds. Shout out to our 100 followers on Instagram, though, man. Like You're... we grinded for that. Yes, we and did. I'm so happy. That we, we have more followers than we follow. Yeah, yeah but that's no, what's no, no. But man. we have 100 followers, though. Yeah. Like, they're yeah, genuine. Uh, it's they're real. All genuine. We didn't they're make them. All, like, they're all yeah. our friends. We, yeah. we got them in real life because they watch the podcast. Because y'all love us. Well, we love y'all. And y'all love us. It's not that we love y'all because y'all love us. So, look, I'm just giving YBN Cordae a hard time. Yeah. He definitely deserves it. His album is great. I think he sounds like J. Cole Jr. a little bit too much for my taste. But mm-hmm. I'm not mm. taking away from his skill or artistry. Hey, he came um, at he came at J Cole. J Cole in a respectable way. He can he can he though. He, he can though. Him he him got him the him talent him. to do it. Yeah, he came. Like at when him. you got the talent to do it, I say do it. You feel me? Even you if you me? feel like if you feel like you got the potential to do it, always oh, no. try. It, in the spirit me? of competition, absolutely. Cause Cole Not did even the competition, shit. just to like boost your confidence. And we people do that, and they try to like attack you like gods and shit like that. You run up on you run up on old Jermaine, you gonna get your feelings hurt though. Yeah, but I mean, look, Cole did the shit. Think about how much work you gotta do to even try to do something like that. Yeah, well, no, he came at a guy. That wrote a song called Fuck J. Cole. No, no, no. But I'm saying, like, when you come up against your competition or you come up with somebody, you come up against somebody you you standing side by side with or anything right. like that. Cole did that shit. Y'all remember he dropped whatever, like Forest Hill Drive. He oh, no, dropped that I shit with the day Kanye dropped. He was like, I'm dropping my shit the same day as Kanye, so y'all know the boys and man oh, or whatever man. he did. No, I, I encourage it's, the it's, competition. That's a, yeah, that's a step up, and it's really just yeah. digging yourself up. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes right. you have to. Put yourself in yeah. that lane so right. you can right. elevate. Because I wouldn't like, be talking about YBM Corday at all, period, right now. Period, if it poo. wasn't for him coming at J. Cole. Really and if though, I ever spoke I about him, it, it you know would be saying? because he's the boyfriend of the girl that plays tennis and won the fucking uh, whatever yeah. the hell. Well, yeah. I know about but YBM Corday because I watched this fun flex freestyle and he moited that shit. Yeah. For real? Man, who is Dave East's guy? Did you watch that one? Dave East? I don't. Dave East got a guy that went on Funk Flip. No, no, no. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I really yeah, like Dave East. Yeah, I'm not a big Why, Dave East fan. I don't, I don't think it's like, like as a business like move, Dave East should bring another guy to rap no, but or anything all, like that. They all yeah. do it, though. Yeah, they all from the hood. You know yeah, they, like, oh, I, I, I feel you, though. I yeah, feel what you're because saying, like, especially what just if you happened, better than you do. What just happened, yeah. you feel me, based off like what just happened, how they just dropped you for your album sales and stuff like that, I don't think it would be the best bet right. to put this on This nigga the is a syndicated television star. He does not care. At yeah. this point, yeah, he, he don't, don't, but like... Don't but low key though, no, I, I, I don't know how to say this without sounding crazy, mm. uh-huh. but I feel like the spirit of everything Nipsey Hussle was doing hit Dave East. You know what I'm saying? In a way that I feel like Dave East is going to continue. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you can that see direction. that though. You like, can see that if he take the, the Nipsey Hussle road, then it'd be like bad. Cause yeah, cause I don't. I, I feel like now he's like. He's playing Met the Man in that in the, in the Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang American Saga. Yeah, Hulu. But do you feel and like then, the All Money In gang is gonna continue to I know the All Money In gang is gonna continue to Nipsey Hussle. Like, do we need the do we need Dave East to yes. pick yeah, that up in New York? Everybody, side, you feel me? He was like he the East like, Side. We need a side, Cali, we need, we need a New yeah. York, we need a Illinois, we need a Texas. We're we just sitting Memphis, here talking about a, game for uh prolific records. What? Excuse me, what? Y'all remember when we talked about game and prolific records? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like, that was bad, game. though. 
Yeah, that's. Like, I'm just I'm not, not a fan of about, him. I'm not talking yeah. about like taking Nipsey's name. Whole dream. I'm talking about like the, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the whole dream. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, hey, I'm gonna take this nigga hairstyle. And all. <laughs> yeah, hey, <laughs> like come on. I can't flip Crip because they know me, but <laughs> <laughs> right, they know me already, so I can't hey. do that. I'm going to just say but neighborhood. I fuck with I'm Dave East, but the, the top essence. of this nigga body is so big. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I ain't going to hold y'all. I fuck with Dave East heavy. I love this nigga. I've been listening to Dave East for a couple years now. I really love this nigga. But Dave East take pictures like a light-skinned nigga and the top of his body big as shit. Like, I see, look, the reason why, I, I'm i just going to tell y'all, the reason why I really don't, I'm not a big Dave East fan, I said it before, because Dave East Boy, is. Boy, look at the top of his shit. <laughs> Stop. Boy, no, come on. No, I want to look at it. That nigga shit big as shit. Hey. It work out. <laughs> Only at the why top. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Leg day skip this nigga all the time. I can't let you kill uh, Dave East like that, I man. I love Dave, dude. One day, man, one day Dave East gonna be on this show. Dave East gonna know. curse me out, bro. <laughs> Dave East gonna punch your ass. He gonna, on God, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> that heavy ass hand, them no, big but, ass shoulders. But Dave East, if you put Dave East in the 90s where everybody could rap that way, he would not be unique amongst the talent right. in the yeah. pool. Absolutely. So when I hear his stuff, it's like, that's cool. So Honestly, heard, when, has anybody heard the new Dave East? The new no, album no. dropped like last week. The last one yeah. I listened to is the joint he did with uh with Styles. See, cause and this new album, like, like, I was watching the commercials. You know what I'm saying? Like they got commercials for it, and it just you really get those Nipsey Hustle vibes. Yeah. It's like entrepreneur, I don't community want it. activist. Yeah, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I like but I like, like that, but well, I, I, and I well, feel key like, though is like is life ready for that type of like light anymore? You feel me? Cause like. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, rap music changing a lot, and it's like Hell yeah. people really don't want that positive, like you feel me, energy anymore. They want that negative energy. The negative energy is what's really so, like man. thriving I feel like right only, now. I feel like only to an extent because you know if you want positive shit, you know. We, I was just talking to John about this. It's respective categories, and right. it's a group of motherfuckers you go to. You right. know you want real rap, you're going to go listen to Jay. Right. Yeah. You know you want that booty shit. You want niggas talking vulgar. You're going to listen to Future. You're going to listen to Black Youngster. Right. Yeah. You want motherfuckers just talking anything, but being the same nigga they always going to be, you're going to listen to the baby. Yeah. You want a woman rapper that's going to come with it, you're going to listen to rap. rap. You want a bitch that's going to talk her shit, pop her shit, and talk like a nigga, you're going to listen to the city girls. You want to educate a motherfucker, you listen to Meg the Stallion because she going to pop her shit. And you know this bitch going to college, then to get a degree. So she has a plan. I'm glad that you mentioned all of these artists because we are talking about the Grammy noms. Mm. Yeah. And the we baby went from YBN Cordae to Dave yeah, Keats to... The baby to, got snubbed. Yeah, the hurt. baby got snubbed. Wait, wait. Tell me, tell me how the baby got snubbed. Well, tell, them, tell us all how the baby got snubbed. Oh, uh, so well, basically how that went was like he was supposed to... Well, in my opinion, I felt that my opinion and what Goldwing uh, said when he uh, made that tweet, you feel me? But in our opinion, we felt that, like, he should have got best song, like, song of the year. Was it best song no. of the year or best new artist? I'm trying to think. Get that man both. He no, need a he lot. He don't deserve song of the year. Shook. No, Why not? No. Old Town Packing Road. the mail. Old Town Road. Shook. 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 So Old it's. Town so Road. it's neck and neck, but sure. who the it's fuck is still singing it's sure. Old Town no, Road it's now? Not, it's not neck and neck at all. Who's still singing Old Town sure. Road now? Nobody. I we mean, started Old the Town year with Road sure. came off with a, a good big bang, but like as a repetitive Old song, Road something that you can constantly listen to. Old Town to. Road came out December 2018. It did. Old, Old Town Road only banged because... Billy Ray Cyrus had to get on that bitch because nobody no, respect Lil Nas. No. Nah, it nobody banged before would respect that. Lil Nas as a country yeah. artist. It banged before that. It, it did. It banged it, before that. It, it actually put Billy Ray back on the map. It put him Billy back Ray on the back back map. Yeah, okay. yeah. He put him back. Yeah. But um, what about Lizzo? Like That song came out in 2017, mm-hmm. but it got hot this year and it Peep stayed on this. track. A lot of Lizzo shit came out in the... Three years ago, two yeah. years ago, a That's year ago. That's how music yeah. worked, though. It takes years. And to they get never hot. banged. Nobody yeah. ever really recognized him. And then she just did this one festival, Look. and then she did Made in America. Then she did five other things. She I'm went on tour. It, I'm keeping real on Lizzo. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of Lizzo's music. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan of Lizzo as a human. Right. And I think. That's where most of her momentum is coming from now. I don't know, man. I feel I I am because I mean fan the music is good, music. 
but I'm like, not gonna be listening to it. She 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 makes my vagina feel stronger. Town has a vagina. A very yeah. big vagina. A very big vagina. Obviously, mm-hmm. it's strong based what yeah, he said. It's a strong vagina. <laughs> I have. Wow. And, and Liz, <laughs> and Lizzo keyboards. empowers my vagina. <clears throat> I yeah. must say that. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It's it's the, the, the <laughs> 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 vagina looks like Lizzo booty. Oh. <laughs> Homer Simpson mouth booty <laughs> vagina face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gotta get on it for that one. Oh my god. Yeah. What? What? Vats. Let's get sheets. back to not giving a fuck. These sheets is crazy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, <clears throat> you know, so that's that's Lizzo. We gonna see Lizzo clean up like Cardi did. Yeah. I'm not because that. of the music, but because of the story, the fairy I tale. I didn't wow. realize that Alicia Keys has twenty one Grammys. Is it? Man. Is it twelve or twenty one? I don't know. I know she well, got Grammys. We can Google though. it. And this is her second year in a row hosting. Yeah. Yep. She you know they just the piano last year hosted. They just did a master class on their life. On their that's life. Like Swiss Harvard. And, uh, and yeah. like Harvard or some <clears throat> shit. Yeah. Like that's gangster. They is. Oh, they like, they I can't ghost even though. Be mad at, yeah. like, like so now Alicia Keys basically Kanye um Swiss Beats, right? How explain Kanye that. Right, explain how Kanye mean. just went she up. She got to fifteen Grammys. Fifteen. I how, she, how Kanye just went up to Chris Humphreys like, "Your wife is my bitch now, fuck you." Like that's basically what Alicia Keys did to Swiss Beats, right? To Mashonda? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because he was a married man. When right. He was married to Mashonda, and, and then uh, it came out like, all yeah, of a. This is, it was very all of a now. sudden that him and Alicia Keys was together. Like, Y'all gonna have to watch that because if I'm not mistaken. Him and Mashonda were separated. They were not together. They were not happy. They were not doing anything. They were living two separate lives, and he got with Alicia. If I'm not mistaken. So, the que- I guess the question is, was Alicia Keys around when things were unraveling? Because I, I, my memories of Mashonda yeah. and Swiss was him producing records for her and all right. kinds of stuff. This is a very So, it could be both, show, but man. one thing I can't say is that everybody's private. the three of them... <laughs> yeah. The three of them have discussed it. Mashonda has gone on um, uh, a single interview that she's kind of discussed, like, where her relationship was with Swiss as far as um, well, I mean, the breakup <coughs> when him and Alicia got together. Because mm. the kids were getting older. It was in the media that, like, Alicia was a, 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 a home record. It's in the third. It's in the third. So they all have done interviews speaking on the topic. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, so we'll we'll, cl- we'll pick that up next week. Glad that's cleared up. Glad yeah. Alicia Keys is hosting the Grammys. Yes. Yeah. And back to the Grammys. Is she yeah. wearing makeup when she does it? What other noms do we got? Yeah, who else is notable for the noms? <sighs> notable Billie noms. Eilish. <laughs> Fuck Billie Eilish, man. I've never Why? listened to any Billie Eilish. Yes, you have. Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm the bad guy. What, what's she getting nominated for? For everything. The bitch been on the... I, hey, I, don't I, disrespect her, man. This little girl, man. <laughs> My name is Emo. You can't disrespect her. I just don't like her. Like... Like, yeah, she's cool. She got the Takashi Murakami video, and she's, you know what I'm saying, right, a big right, fashion right, right. icon and well, an outspoken 17-year-old, and she's probably... Did you hear that girl's voice, though? Yeah, but... Come on, man. I, I don't... Do, do you I why you don't like her? You ain't got no reason. The he Chris, just said everything. He ain't no reason. She Look, she this to her voice wait, so yes, fucking yes. perfect. Yes, yes. from Chicago, right? Peep this. No, no, Peep no, this. Right. We said, why you don't like her? He was like, I get it. She got great fashion. She got you a just literally complimented her. He said everything her. amazing <laughs> and then didn't say nothing I just, rude. I don't like her, though. I just, okay. That's allowed. R- that is allowed. That's allowed. allowed. But he just bigged her up. Yeah. You know I mean, no, <laughs> so basically, he I've don't like the research. good person. That right. it's, not like, <laughs> it's not like I don't know her and I just don't like her because I don't know anything about her. Like right. I've done my research to try to figure out why everybody likes her so much. <laughs> We're trying what to is, figure out why <laughs> you don't like her. Yeah, we that, know why everybody so look, likes look, her. The way this is how I feel. The reason why I have not listened to Billie Eilish is because I hear her name too much. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I understand. Like, that. I was listening I to the baby that. because. I like the baby. You knew the baby. I knew like who the baby was about before about all of this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. Like a lot of people don't remember when the baby posted that video on World Star where he was standing in the middle of the street at South by with the he got games on in the diaper. Yeah. Saying the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby. Yeah, that's when he first changed that's the name, he, though. That's when he first. Because you remember, he came, baby, he went Jesus. to on uh, South by Southwest when he was Baby Jesus mm-hmm. with the um lick on, and they talked about him. Mm-hmm. Right. 
And that's what I remembered him from. So Bro. that's why I listened to him. But with Billie Eilish, I heard the name too much before I got familiar with yeah. him. Right. So that's why and I don't And it's like, that could be some hype right. beat shit, yeah. and you don't yeah. want to yeah. ride that yeah. way. You and don't. I've listened to the music. You know See, and, that, and there's it, only one song that I like. What mm-hmm. is it? Uh, it's not the bad guy song. It's the one from the, you should see me in a crown. Yeah. Yeah, that so, song. Oh, I have a question. Did uh my girl... The the my my spirit animal um <laughs> what's her name Shea butter Shea butter baby man uh, Ari Lennox is Ari nominated for anything I think I don't think <coughs> she got nominated because she was like what she was all on Twitter all week that was the Soul Train quit. Awards that was the Soul Train uh, Awards right, but she right. got snubbed for she said she got snubbed she, like, she did get snubbed because oh, she lost to fucking who Lizzo keep, who we keep Lizzo. forgetting to talk about man she lost to Lizzo. Uh, Who do we keep forgetting to talk about, man? Summer Walker. Oh, man. With this whole the anxiety, anxiety attacks. Like, yeah. I, I kind of feel like man. you <coughs> chose the wrong. Like, you ain't going away. Your fans aren't going away now. Like, this no, is, it's a lot going on out there. Yeah, yeah, it is today, ain't it? Yeah. They saging out there and shit? Yeah, they saging. They are saging Q4 Radio, everybody, yeah. right now. The, um, <laughs> it's beautiful out there, man. Yeah, but... Um, yeah, like I kind of feel like you chose the wrong profession, but this is why uh, that's your dream. I am this is no. Eminem, I am whatever. Okay, you say. I was therapy. thinking about it. I was thinking walk about up it to me in the streets, but you have people you have to think about. This I'm generation a human. Of young people, these are these are introverted SoundCloud artists, so you have it, it as an impression in your mind. I got famous off of the songs that I did while I was at home. Yeah, yeah but you yeah. got to keep in mind for this specific person, this specific person was a stripper in Vegas, I think. Yeah. So yeah. like this a person who you feel me says they have sense of anxiety, but they they jobs every job that they had will probably was literally centered around a very social job. Bro, not even don't social. Matter. Not even social. It's mm-hmm. just the attention, not seeking, yeah, but like, attention given attention. off. Like mm-hmm. you right. forced to ha- that get the shit attention. That shit don't matter because Summer Walker ass still had a fucking cleaning business where she would fucking be in a big ass oh, apartment man. complex by her fucking self. Scrubbing windows. You, see, you can have social anxiety and be a stripper. You could be a musician. You could be a cleaner. You could be a maid. You could be right. a babysitter. You could be but all that shit and though. still all have right. that. Like, well, I, like, I just think that um, when you when you are a person that has these talents and you pursue this kind of career, right. uh, nobody cares how you feel. And they they don't because and everybody's so entitled to right. your shit you now. Look at Kanye though. But but I mean like, that's that's a sense of entitlement right there. Uh, wanting to be a great artist. But not wanting to be involved with the people. That's yeah. entitled. No, that's, not yeah. wanting to be. I would love no, it, to be that's, around that's, that's y'all. Between, but right. my fucking anxiety right. is going crazy. I can't breathe. You want to hug me? I'm probably a germaphobe. I can't fucking breathe. So I need you so not to she, be that close. So is she going to stop? No, I no, don't. You can't. She's not you gonna can't. stop. You can't. But that's I think what you want. Like, oh, yes. yeah. you know, want to I, pursue your dreams. Yeah. You want Honestly, to release music. I feel like Taylor, Taylor, Taylor hold on, Thomas. Hold on. Let's not all talk at one time. Yeah. What was his name? Taylor, Taylor Thomas. Taylor who? The the Jonathan middle, Taylor Thomas. Yeah. yeah. He decided he stopped. Mm-hmm. He was at the top of his game. Shia LaBeouf stopped. I think well, some LaBeouf people will like fell off. He was contour it to their liking. I don't think she'll stop, but maybe this time around because she was working through it. So she was like, oh, let me do meet and greets. Boy, and the meet and greets it. held to be too much. It seemed to be too much. So she was like, yeah, I can't I can't do meet and greets. So next time, maybe she'll be like, I'll do the tour. I won't do meet and greets, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll do this, and I'll sign posters, but I'll sign them and then give them to people through my manager. Like right. See, She'll just contour the, the shit of, to her comfort. This is the kind of thing that can play a major detriment to your career path yeah. because – there's certain things that come along with winning a Grammy. There's certain things that come along with being heralded in a certain regard. Like, yeah. Beyonce could not say, I don't want to do meet and greets at one point in her career. She yeah. couldn't uh-huh. be that person and be Beyonce now. Yeah. But what if but Summer I mean, just wants to have she, her dream, she do what Grammy? she wants she, to do, you can't. Her beat. You cannot. Why but she no, can't? You can't? Why she can't? You can't, can't though. Grammy like Because you have to become J. Cole first before you can leave. Bro, Summer Walker is Summer Walker. She's bro, already become no, that literally, person. No, literally. No, you can't. Yes, bro. No. Summer Walker is Summer Walker. How, that's how, how long, people That's how, how people become in the industry now. Like You got to be yourself. How long has Summer Walker been around? How many projects has you put out? This is her first one, right? 
This is her first. I think she's done a, a couple features. See, that's what I'm saying. But they've been big bangers. This is, this is entitlement, man. It's yeah. not entitlement when like, I have a, di- a a social disorder. Then you stop. What I don't know. Have I, I've been it's thinking like about like what if the social so you can't walk like, and chew gum. Created. No, because you got Kanye, right? You no, got Kanye, you who just keeps going. Like everybody knows, he's bipolar and he's been on medication and he he's he doesn't want to do this shit no more. Mm-hmm. But he just keeps going because people won't leave him alone. Mm-hmm. And then you got a guy like Young Berg, who's like, all right, I don't want to be in the spotlight. I'm gonna take it back here, become a producer, executive produce project. Get all my points off of the the backside. Exactly. You know what I'm oh, saying? Exactly. No. Like so some we also Summer know Walker Kanye's be personality. Be a great songwriter. Yeah. In yeah. the back, you know what I'm saying? That's what and, I, that's what I mean when I say stop. And, and when she I can say write stop, the next single ladies, you have to go away and no longer be some artist. She gotta go away. She gotta go to her shit. Artist. She's the I boss like of her life. Different though, like. I don't know, like, fame can be overwhelming. You never know. You you don't know how overwhelming fame is if you never had that much amount of yeah. fame, I, in so, my right. opinion. So, like, if you was trying your hardest to aspire to be somebody that was famous, and then when you got there, you realized that it was so overwhelming because you're dealing with crazed fans that's real life just, like, paying homage to you, and you yeah. can't really – because you don't really understand why they're paying homage to somebody who – it's you, only you a know, human. You you know yourself more than anybody, so you know every flaw that you have personally. That's what you're making music about, your flaws. So yeah. they're listening to your flaws and still paying homage to you. It'll freak me out. It'll freak anybody else It'll sometimes. Freak you out to have you walk up to you. You know Imagine that, like who, somebody who is broken just walk music. up to you telling hey. them that they you helped them. Yeah. So so look, I don't want to get it misconstrued in saying that. I don't care about her social anxiety or that her issues are not real. I'm just saying that in this, in the business of what she's doing, in the business of being a performing artist, you must perform. And uh, if and if see, that's too much for you, stop performing. See, and I'm halfway. I'm halfway with you. Like, like you can do other things. I, I her issues are real. Anxiety yeah, right. is a real thing. Social anxiety. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's a real thing. But I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care that you have anxiety. You shouldn't even have told me that because now I'm probably never going to listen to your music. Like, I might have listened to it yep. before, but yep. now that I know that there's but why a whole is that drama a problem, around though? it. Right. Like, why, would that, why would anxiety All she's telling y'all problem? is, I'm human. Yeah, I wanted That's to it. be an artist, and then somebody came and said, "Maybe you should be a performing artist." But so it's now, still a decision you make. Though. I'm yeah. trying to be so a performing now, artist, which I'm probably iffy about right. because I know I have social but anxiety. You, right. It's still a choice that you made, though. But it's a choice that I tried. But you made yeah. it. But, you but don't I make tried. The, I don't, don't have. That's not You don't definite. make the choice to have anxiety. It's not a tattoo. You don't, wait, you wait, don't wait, try. Wait. You don't right. try choice. But I'm saying though, I, I try right, to look. be a performing oh, 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 artist. That's like let's that's like saying over. like I right, you had a dream before you had depression, but now you got depression. So is that still your dream, my nigga? But what I'm saying I'm, is, but if you had the access to reach them goals and the opportunities was right there to you, and you had depression now, you feel me? But that was still your goal. Would you still try to reach that goal? No. I walk away like Ricky Williams yeah. did for the NFL. Uh, you you give, would. That's giving Ricky it to Williams your depression, did. though. Ricky. Okay, but Kanye doesn't. We have two people on mm-hmm. different sides of the spectrum. Summer right. Walker wants to be an artist, but mm-hmm. she also she wants want people to, to respect her right. privacy How can you and respect her illness. Like, want to be an artist. Yeah. Think How about what social anxiety is, though. And want people to respect your privacy, like people. But that's it's not privacy. Privacy. Bruh, that's it's like saying privacy. that's like saying, that's like saying because you're if you get famous today, you're not allowed to go to the fucking grocery store. I'm not. You're not. I'm not. No you're man. It's called fame. No. Yeah, that's called fame. That's not what the anxiety part about. It's the whole like the Y'all rush. You feel me? Huh. It's not that. It's 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 being in a grocery store and twenty people rushing running to you because they know who you are. Did y'all That's see? the anxiety oh, that oh. comes in it. It's not you feel me. The fact that twenty people know who you are and you in that public place. No. It's the twenty people rushing to you and you don't know what the fuck to do. No matter if you was famous or not. Now like you have security with you. It's panicking. You don't. So want now to you panic. can't even don't, be you alone. You shouldn't panic. Let me get this one point in. Did y'all see the one time that Michael Jackson? Yes, I did. Made his whole staff dress up like just regular people in the store so he could go shopping as a regular human being mm-hmm. because at the age of 35, he hadn't been able to ever go shopping in a regular shopping market. Yep. Like, he had 
everybody in the store was paid to not look at him. But don't you think that kind of like hurt, though? Person. Like, I can't go you get no son. You don't think that That hurt, it's bro. Every, every, every ho, 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 ho. See, I think that you're making a point, right, that it's bad. But the point that me and Anonymous are trying to make is that, man, that's your business. Yeah. Right. Like, if I you're doing, you if you're doing this, me as a fan, I'm not connected to that. Right. Yeah. I just like how you sing, and I want to see you sing like, more. Mm-hmm. That's why and you, you can't make me care about that stuff. You know what? Yeah. I, no, as I a fan, saying. it's not my responsibility to care about your social issues. Like, but as so an individual. In our generation, it was, right. man. After album number four, it was, man, when I was doing my first album, I was dealing with a whole bunch nah, of anxiety, but, and man, I wouldn't let but nobody you, know. You got to remember, when the Wayne ever happened, you feel that's me? that's why my second album sounded like that, and now that I'm on my fourth album, I feel comfortable talking about what I was going through during the process of making my first album. But, man, but, but guess what? We don't like have to lie no more. Right we don't got We a generation right here, that don't man. have to lie right. about, oh, that died. about how we feel. This generation but y'all, lies about everything. Look, you're saying... Oh, well, I'm a fan. I don't have to care. I'm still an individual who has to take care of myself. So I don't care. Everybody not Lil right. Wayne. You don't That's care. the problem. Why does that yeah. to me? Everybody yeah. not Lil no, 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 Wayne. Wait, 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 wait. Answer that question for me, yeah. Breezy. As a yeah. fan, why does that matter to me? Why does oh, it, matter it don't to have me to that matter. Have so to but guess what? I gotta it's take still care of my too. issue. So you handle your issue. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to handle it on my time. You as a fan don't wait, get to wait, say, say when I'm going to handle it. What, what, is her, what is your time? My time is saying I no longer want to do meet and greets. I simply just mm-hmm. want to perform and go to fuck home. That's my time. Okay. Your time, so. you're saying, yeah, I don't care. I still want to do the meet and greet. Yeah. That's not your place. This no, is no, my no, concert. No, 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 I'm the no, artist. No, I'm, he's not saying I would still want to do the meet and greet. Mm-hmm. It's I just want to hear some music. I don't want to I hear will all give the you music shit. and I will I'm perform, saying. but I right. don't want to do meet and greets. I don't want you running up to me in a grocery store. I don't want to walk and my dog is, and you coming through touching me and you all in my face. What I'm shit. saying that's, 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 that's going to hinder happen. That's going to hinder her eventual no, success. No, it's not. No, it's not. It let shouldn't have let, fi- let me finish. Let me finish. Mm-hmm. It's going to hinder her eventual success because you're making yourself you're adding a degree of inaccessibility that is key to becoming a a superstar. Because out of 500 people who are willing to come to the show and maybe be in the meet and greet, 100 people are willing to come to the show uh, if there is no okay. meet and greet. Guess what? 400 people are willing to come to the show with no meet and greet because they know your story and they know your ass got social anxiety and they yeah. want to respect Us, you. And now, now, let's split the difference, right? Let's say it's 250. Right? Okay. And then now, out of those 250, there's, well, no, let's say it's 300. But then you lose another 100 because people just don't care about the story. They love the voice. They want to see you. They want to hear your voice live. Like, because they know that you could perform live better than Mary J. Blige. So they want to hear your voice live, how they heard it on the radio. But there's all this drama attached to the voice now. So they're just not willing to Ain't no dr- that Well, guess what? I'm going to stay true to me. And then let me ask and you. I mean, that's how you, that's how, that's the difference between currency and Wiz Khalifa. Yep. Like, that's cur- the like they're both the same guy in my book. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Wiz was able to get that white boy singing on the chorus mm-hmm. and, and make that hit and keep doing, like, a, a Wiz Khalifa album sounds totally different than a Wiz Khalifa mixtape. Yep. Because he mm-hmm. knows who the albums are for and he knows who the mixtapes are for. Whereas currency stayed true to himself. But he doesn't have as big as a fan base as a Wiz Khalifa. So I he would might say be much more I peaceful. Would, too. I would say an example, mm-hmm. an example of what you're talking about. Two people, Earl Sweatshirt, yeah, and J Cole, yeah, right. And they're on two opposite ends of the spectrum. Yeah. Uh, so Earl Sweatshirt said, "All right, I'm sick of this shit. I'm gone." Mm-hmm. J Cole but said, he's "Still putting out music." Yeah. But it's the kind of music that makes you not want to listen to the next project. Ex- exactly. And then J Cole, he said, "I'm sick of this shit." And I'm gone. But after he became a superstar, yeah, like it's it's very early in the ball game. So, so like a, these kinds of issues that you bringing up are gonna have a greater effect than if you're a bigger artist saying these things. Yeah, and that's all that I'm saying. Because like an Earl Sweatshirt, he he stumbled into the fame. Like mm-hmm. he left his guys made him famous, and then he came back home. Like what? No, I didn't. I didn't want this shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like he never wanted it from the beginning. Like he didn't. He didn't make himself famous. He was fucking around with the guys. Yeah. He yeah. Was, like he was just fucking around with the guys, 
and the, he got kicked out, went to boarding school in the Philippines somewhere, and um, his guys made him famous. He he walked back into the fame like, no, I didn't want this. I'm mm-hmm. leaving. Fuck this shit. And he left. And then J. Cole, on the other hand, he like worked hard, went to New York, started but calling like, people son. And <laughs> that's what they music was, though. Him leaving was, is what made his music what it was. Like, listening to songs like Grief and shit. I don't listen to Earl Sweatshirt to get happy. You feel me? I listen to Earl Sweatshirt to get on some gangster ass grimy shit or some gangster yeah. grimy sad shit right. or like some emotional grieving but shit. I was just, like, it's, it's just they make a certain type of music. The know, difference the, is, is like, it's a certain type of, it's a person that's going to tell you from the get go, like, all right, this what this is. I feel uncomfortable. You're going to either make me feel uncomfortable to the point where I just walk off or I'm a spies on your ass. Like NBA Youngboy. If, if, Motherfucker did something to him towards the crowd. Like, let's say he threw, like, a water bottle or, like, water at him. That ain't going to jump gonna in do? the crowd. He going to jump in the crowd. But let's say Summer Walker, they happen to her. What's she probably she do? Gonna she going to run off gonna the stage. Run. She going to cry run off the stage. Yeah. It's two different people, but they both probably got social anxiety. Yeah. It's just to either fight or flight. You can't freeze because it's music. This show business. I hate that you shit. can't that freeze. Shit. Yo, that shit don't You, you feel me? I had a whole argument with this lady in the car. So, you know, they just added a third one. It's, it's that's, that's fight, flight, it's or true. Freeze. It is mm-hmm. true. But for no. people with anxiety, that is hundred percent true. Not it's even anxiety. It's that, just man. it's people. It's, it's true. Fight or flight. And if you don't run, okay. I mean, you allow. You allow. Your a freezing is a refusal to fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, sometimes no, your freezing no, be no. your whether, brain. Freezing, whether Stop it's me. boxing or I just no. I'm just beating you up. No. It's a fight. Freezing you know is saying? being stuck between the middle of both. It's choosing either I'm finna I'm finna run or do I fight you don't know which one that's why you froze cause you trying to calculate the, the you feel me nah, the man. probability of what you gonna what's gonna happen if this happened what's gonna happen if this happened a freeze is a cop out on okay. a fight nah, I'm gonna ask you this if you was gonna run you was gonna run let me ask you this so, question so, S- like scenario scenario you so let's let's Emo, I want you to get this off and then let's end the Summer Walker conversation right. here because we're going long and we still got to get to your new project. Right. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right, scenario, you feel me? You outside. Let's say you in that uh, you in that scenario where you feel me, you got to be outside to survive, you know, chop, blah, 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 survival mode. Mm-hmm. You got a gun on you. Somebody rent, you know, Somebody come pull up to you. They got a gun on them. They intent is just to rob you. You got a gun on you, though. Mm-hmm. What you finna do? But they gun come with a clip this long, <laughs> and you just got seven shots. They got 30, you got seven. It's, it's four people with sticks. You got a gun on you, though. You can defend yourself. What you finna do? You either gonna fight, flight, or you gonna, you can, it's a chance that you, you probably think, like, up. okay, you feel me? And, and in that sentence, that, that froze, yeah. that one second you froze, you dead. Yeah. You feel me? There is that. That, you feel me? You got that thought in your head, like I could try, but, but if not, I try, it's a chance it'd be a casualty. You ain't freeze though. You just you thinking in you your thinking. head. You, you got know. only one second. But five. You ain't even put your that. hand in your pocket. You ain't even reach for your gun. You thinking? No, you not. You not moving. You thinking? You thinking? So look, this is this is your mind tell you what to do. You feel me? You thinking? Yeah, yeah. This is going nowhere, man. We got We got to move on. We've been on summer walking for a while, and we we are really deep past our time, man. So. Let's uh, let's 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 get to the project, man. Uh, oh man. man, what's up with the emo guy? Yeah, man. let's talk uh, about the emo. What's guy? the motivation behind the title, the emo guy? Well, honestly, where that really came from is just like, for so long I've been making music, and for so long I've been trying my hardest to perfect my craft and just figure out. Like, it's like an identity thing. You try to figure out who you are and where you want to be in life and how you want to just perfect. And you feel me? Just show people you in your rarest form. And after being and doing everything that I felt, I feel like the best way you can really go into life is just being yourself. And if people like consider you that, and they consider you different, embrace it, you know. And and that's kind of just how it was for me in the neighborhood. And everybody kind of like, since my name is emo, and everybody just know me as emo. And they, I feel like people when I walk past, they they don't. It's like they know of me, but they don't pay the homage to what it is and who it is because yeah. you feel me it's different everybody knows like the first thing you see different some people take it as like fear some people take it as like they scared of what's different at first it take time mm-hmm. to embrace it i guess this just was my way of just showing this people like finally. i am the e- it's yeah. the emo guy like 
Oh, uh, hey, that's the emo guy. Right, like yeah. you can say it in certain uh, type of ways. People probably say it in a negative way, like, oh, that's the emo guy. Like, that's that yeah. guy. He be doing all that. But that's how I want you to think of it as, because that's who I am. Uh, I yes. am the the kid who who skateboard from left to right, but I'm also the same person who did everything that y'all did and more. But I'm just the one who did it on the skateboard, and it was just weird. You feel me? And why am I going out and listening to the emo guy? So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pull it up. What am I searching? Uh, emo 800. Okay. Uh, that's rattling. You can just search up the emo guy. So why, why, why am I going out and listening to the emo guy? Because like I feel like it's so many stories, but like nowadays music's so saturated, you hear the same story. And it's like, it takes a lot for your story to be unique. So if I, in my opinion, I feel like if I heard the same story, but it was like, it came from a different background, it uh, it uh, showed that uniqueness. Like, everybody in Chicago didn't rob somebody. Everybody didn't tow the gun. Everybody didn't sold drugs. It's truthful. Yeah. Everybody in Chicago, at, you at least. You just on the skateboard. Like, literally. <laughs> like, that's the difference. Like, if somebody said, like, I, right. I didn't did all this stuff, but I didn't did a skateboarding and <laughs> being eccentric and, you know, just just waking up, you feel me, just waking up in life and just living life off of vibrations and energy. But at the same time, I was in this type of the negative limelight. Like, I did the negative things. I just chose to embrace certain, like, aspects of my life. Like, mm-hmm. you can't really knock that. Uh, so, so coming from, um, how did you put it, uh, uh, open air retail specialist. Yeah, open, you know, hood <laughs> pharmacist. You know, you know I, I consider that hood like, pharmacist. Um, you know, it was there. Did you try to get away from that storyline? Oh yeah, did multiple times. But like, like, like into yourself or into other aspects of your life or like, like, like. like I felt like I was a part of my environment. I was a product of my environment for a, a great amount of time. I. I'm glad that I didn't, like, I was never stuck in my environment. Like, it's called trap for a reason. It ain't called trap because, yeah. you feel me, what people think. It's literally a trap. Once you in, you're in. Like, yeah. it takes so much to get out. That's why I skateboarded. Right. Skateboarding was like, the I can literally skate my way out of this trap into, like, a whole different neighborhood where they don't even have to worry about the stuff I got to worry about. Like, I have to worry about if I got to eat tomorrow, if I got to, you feel me, somebody go put a gun to me. They don't got to worry about this type of stuff. I just wanted to skate and experience that. Yeah, see, and that's the thing, like you were saying earlier, how we all off the Ave. On Chicago Avenue, it's 10 minutes away to out the hood. Right, literally, you know but people don't know that because, like, we so stuck on the three blocks that we from, you yeah. feel me? People don't really know the life outside of that. And I always was taught to, it was more to life than these three blocks. Right. But when you stuck in the hood, you mm-hmm. stuck in the hood, you feel me? So it's like, you just trying your hardest to get out. And that was just my way out. So, right, um, so uh, oh, uh, I was just going to ask, man, I got it pulled up here, man. What song do you think wow. best represents what you're doing wow. right now for all the listeners That's and it. viewers out there, man? Give me one. You got 10 <sighs> songs on this. This is your EP. The emo guy. Wow. Give me one. Give me um, one. That's a good question. Come on now. I'm and you got to give us your, um, <laughs> and while the song's playing, you got to tell us where they can find you at uh, and everything. Hold on. Let me see the, Let me see this. this because is this one. is the Faculty uh, Lounge Podcast, episode 72. You can follow us anywhere now. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Instagram yeah. At DA Faculty Lounge. Man, honestly, at the Faculty Lounge. I would say 4K. All like, right. I mean, like with 4K, just to give a little synopsis of that song, like the hook kind of, as the hook goes, it kind of sounds like I'm talking towards somebody, like like I'm talking towards an ex or anything, like on like broken hearted, but it's really just like, you feel me, erasing the past and just moving on to the future. Like, that's all it's really about, it's just like, moving on from the hurt and the hate and all the negativity and trying to be as positive as possible and just manifesting manifest destiny really mm-hmm. uh, we're gonna hear a little bit of 4k yep. right so while uh, we um yeah make sure y'all follow us check out uh youtube uh that's youtube.com slash faculty lounge soundcloud yeah. soundcloud.com slash faculty dash lounge i am at chicago fog uh, at anonymous, E N O N O M O S. 
Yo, yeah. I'm at underscore somebody breezy fashion line. Uh, at West Lennon Cobain, holla at the kid. Right, you know I'm at Young Emo 800. You feel me? Definitely look me up on SoundCloud, Emo 800, YouTube, Emo 800, Facebook, Emo Frank Lucas. You feel me? Young Whippersnapper. I'm talking hey, about. <laughs> I think it's all one word, y'all. So uh, Emo 800, one word. Yeah, it's all Emo 800. So this is Emo 800 4K, produced by. Oh, Secador. Big shouts out Secador. That man produced like. Majority of my tape, like the wave that he got, I definitely like. I vibe to that. It kind of remind you of that Lucky X wave. Big shouts, Lucky X too. He just dropped his project, but I definitely feel the vibe, man. All right, so we gonna uh, catch y'all next week. Make sure you tune in. We gonna leave you with this, man. The emo guy available now on that page. Right. This is 4K. Emo 800. All right, all right, all right. My love because it's six feet in the dirt, baby Say you ain't try to play me That line was rehearsed, baby Give me a hearse, baby Say you ain't try to play me It's closed curtains anyway You ain't gotta say anything You ain't gotta pray I'ma be okay All I need is 4K Resolution to my problem But I don't see no way Jose buffing Quavo Serving out the hallway I ain't had no Migos I just had compadres One day I'ma be Giant like Andre All this weight up on my shoulder For all this food up on my plate I'm